name's Grandad. Right then, so this is our plans. We've enlarged them so we can stick them on the wall and we keep back referring back to them. Um, so this is the stern. Port is on that side, starboard that side, and then the centre of the boat is down there. So if it looks a bit confusing, this is all the centre and this is the the sides, going up the sides of the boat. where the windows and portholes are. All right, so I'll start at this end anyway. So what we've tried to do is we decided to have um, a walkway all the way down the middle. And nearly everything is centre. So we've tried to balance everything. So our kitchen, whatever we have on one side, we're going to try and balance it with on the other side. So a dryer on one side, washing machine on the other, sink on one, other on, on the other, freezer on one side, fridge on the other, and so on. So we we try and just balance balance the weight out. Um, all the middle section where the cool box and wine boxes and this under the steps can all lift up, so we can take ballast out or add ballast if we needed to in um, in them centre bits uh, and if when we come to trim the boat we need to let's just say we need to put more weight on one side than the other in the kickboards under the kitchen we've got space to put weights under whether it be bricks or whether it be steel weights or whatever we decide to use so we can once all the boat's done, we can uh, decide where we need to trim it. As so we move on to where the dinette is. So in the dinette, we've got just a two-foot table and then two seats either side. And then on the other side, on the starboard side, we've got the same. Just two-foot table with uh, two seats either side. So the walkway again is down the middle. Under those, we're gonna, um, there's space again to trim the boat out if we need to. And if we don't need to trim it out, we, we've got that extra space as uh, storage. In the living room, um, saloon, as they say in boat world, but that's, we've got the sofa and we're probably making our own sofa and building storage underneath. But that'll probably be the last thing we do because we need that area to work in. Um, and a bookshelf. And then on the other side, we've got the fireplace with the stove. So it's going to be quite heavy there and the TV unit. So that side will probably be a little bit heavier than the port side. Um, so once we start making all that bit and work out how much we, what we're putting in the sofa and how many books we've got on the bookshelf and so on, um, we can then work out how much trim we need to adjust between the starboard and port. So in the bathroom, we're in the shower room, we've got the sink and shower over one side and our toilet on the other um, and the radiator. The radiators are all going down the starboard side. And so again, we've taken the ballast already out of underneath the shower 
so we can fit pumps and everything so there's a bit of weight taken out of there but hopefully that should balance up quite well we're tiling it so uh tiling the floor and the shower so again there'll be quite a bit of weight on that then in the bedroom the bedroom is really quite equal our bed is central the water tanks underneath so that's central um and but then the wardrobe so the wardrobe is uh slightly over to the port side well it is over on the port side and then you've got the doorway so at the side of the bed we're building steps and I'm making our bed a little bit higher just so I can get on um, and under them steps there's going to be access points to put uh, ballast in them so again we can trim the bow out when we need to we also have the hatch on in the bedroom on the starboard side um, which we obviously haven't got on the port side so again we've got that weight from that extra weight on that on that side so again as we go along we're just going to try and work out what we're putting where and do it room by room um, of where the extra weight needs to be Hopefully it'll work out. It better work out. <laughs> Gonna be a bit of a learning curve as we're doing it, I think. Hope that clears up some of uh, the questions that we've had. Right. I thought I'd sit down now and uh, just talk to you about the ballast that we've put in the boat. I'm no experts, but. Uh, it's just something that we've found on the internet and we actually used a website called the fit out pontoon it's really useful for not just for ballast for all manner of things or to do with the narrow boat so well worth having a look at um right our boat is 57 feet long six foot ten wide and we need our boat to well our boat's got a 22 inch draft or um, doing that in metric for you it is about 17.3 in length uh, to just over two meters wide and then the draft which is how far you need to sink into the water is about 0.56 of a meter and in total that comes to about 20.2 cubic meters for the entire size of our boat but bearing in mind that the boat isn't actually a uh, rectangular uniform shape it's, it's tapered at the front and the back etc you take a, a percentage of that and we used about 85 percent of that which gave us an overall size for the boat of about 17.2 cubic meters moving on from that it does get complicated but you just have to stick with me <laughs> um moving on from that um a kilo of i mean a a thousand kilograms or a ton weight is equivalent to about a cubic meter so 17.2 cubic meters of physical size of boat it's going to weigh about 17.2 tons so once you've got your sort of physical size of the boat and the mount it needs to sink into the water you need to sort of work out you need, well, you will know the sort of the weight of your boat, and our weight of our boat is 7.5 tons. And then adding on to that, that's just for the that's just the shell, nothing else. Um, then we we worked out as um, we added a ton for the engine and fittings, um, about two ton of weight for the woodwork and interior, um, one and a half ton for which is a liquid, which is our fuel tank, and we've got a four and a half, uh, four fifty liter stainless steel tank at the front, etc., etc. So about a ton and a half for for liquids, and then we put on about one and a half tons for all the additional stuff, which is your equipment and the food and our personal stuff. So that always totals up to about a total of about um, I think we worked out about thirteen point five tons. So 
now you know the weight of your boat and naturally how much you need to sink it into the water you, you're going to take your 17.2 cubic meters 17.2 ton subtract off your shell your water your fittings fixtures, fittings your 13.5 and that's going to give, leave you with about 3.7 tons so that's what you're short of to physically sink the boat into the water what you need for the draft of the boat now the 3.7 tons um, is your ballast which worked out really well for us because we didn't want to compromise the height of our floor by putting two rows of bricks in which you can use concrete common bricks which is really well well really well used um, nothing wrong with that um, but we thought if we use two rows of bricks we're then sacrificing about three inch about 70 mil of floor height so if we could get away with using one row of bricks from front to back we would be well happy because it gives us that additional headroom in the boat and it as it worked out it did work out that we could use um, an engineering brick we sourced on the internet which weighed about 3.2 kilograms per brick so we ordered about 11 1100 bricks which gave us about a total of 3.6 3.7 tons it's not exact it's not going to be perfect we know that but it's going to give us a pretty good idea of getting it in the water and being at the right height so that's physically basically what we did we battened out the we put braces in the floor and then as you can see on a previous video um we ballasted it with all the engineering bricks i hope that goes some way of clearing up or helping anybody else that's going to fit out a boat as i say we're not experts we've just sourced it on the internet the same as you will um but we just thought we'd give you that bit of information just so you you know where we've arrived at and why we've done the boat in that particular way so hope you've enjoyed that and uh carry on watching as you will know um we aren't going to know until the boat's actually in the we're on dry stand on on dried hard standing at the moment so until the boat is actually put into the water we're not going to know exactly how the boat sits um so we will there will be some we understand there will be some trimming involved whether we've got to take ballast out of the floor increase the ballast etc but um as Ailey's uh, explained previously um we've uh, got our boat sort of a, a uniform weight as we balanced it out as much as we can so that if we've got something heavy on one side obviously there's something roughly about the similar weight on the other side so it counteracts that and we know we ain't going to get it perfect so that reason we've um all our floor down the foot down the central section of the boat front to back stern to bow we can remove any floor panel we want to remove or add more ballast um as we need to also down the sides of the boat we're going to like in the dinette there'll be access points under the dinette seats there'll be access at the side of the bed uh, in the bathroom there'll be a way of trimming the boat in that way so hopefully once we get in the water we will be able to add or take out any weight we need to to get the boat to sit as we need it to be we've also um, created um, hatches in the floor at various points up and down the boat so at any point we need to we can then just remove a small section of the floor um, just to gain access to the bilge and just so we can inspect the, to just see if it, what there's any water in there or the condition of it etc um, cool. cool. Anything else we need to to say? No. <laughs> Original bows and cap.
Right, go on then. Just a little bit more there, Ray. Right? That's it. You're done. That looks straight to you in there, it looks like it might need to slightly go like that. That looks better to me out here. It's quite hard for me to see because I'm a... Yeah. That looks right for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 